Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Curtis. Welcome back. We are going to be doing an Egyptian cat drawing today, and I'm really excited about this drawing. I hope you enjoy following along. Remember that you can pause anytime if you need to catch up with the drawing. All right, here we go. We're going to be drawing the top of our cat's head first, and we want to start about two fingers from the top, so about two fingers from the top, and then kind of towards the center. We don't want it to be too close to the right or the left. So I'm gonna start about two fingers and I'm just gonna start by putting a dot right there on my paper to help me. So you can put a dot there to help you as well. And we're gonna make the top of the head first. So I'm gonna make this line come out kind of straight, just about like that. Then it's going to curve down for his forehead. And then it's gonna create the opposite way to come out for the snout. And I'm gonna make the snout about that long. Yours doesn't have to be exactly like mine. We're going to come down just a little bit. And here's where it gets a little tricky. We're gonna go in and then curve it back out. I'm gonna go in and then curve it back out just like that. All right, I'm gonna leave that part just like that and I'm gonna come back up here to the top for just a couple minutes. The next step that I wanna do is I wanna add the ear before I continue on the back of the head. So I'm gonna start a big triangle right here, just like that and leave it open. And then I'm gonna make a smaller triangle behind that one. So I'm gonna add another triangle back behind there for that ear that's on the other side of his head. Now, I wanna do the back of the head, so I'm gonna look at where this line ended and kind of imagine where it goes across the ear and come out on the other side. And we're gonna curve this at this time for the back of its head. So I'm gonna curve it and bring it down just like that. And you can kind of see how the cat's forehead and nose and humming down into it. Now. We are doing an Egyptian cat sculpture, so we're not gonna actually make any legs today. Um, and we're gonna almost give it the feel kind of like a human with some shoulders to come out. So from here, I'm gonna kind of come out and then we're gonna go down almost to the bottom of the paper. I'm gonna stop right about there. I'm gonna leave some room down here. So leave a little bit of room at the bottom. Stop that line. All right, I'm ready to do the other side. Again, I'm gonna kind of bring it out and then curve it back in almost like shoulders. And then I'm gonna bring this line down. <clears throat> and that's gonna be the body of my cat. Now, before I close this, I'm gonna add the tail to my cat. And you can add the tail um, on the left or the right. It it doesn't matter which side you add it to. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and add mine on the left here. So I'm gonna curve my line and I'm gonna bring it out away from the body and up and then back around. And then it's gonna go under and right here, I just kind of have to watch where this connects. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this back up to there. And that's all I'm gonna do for the tail and the bottom part of the body. I'm not gonna add a lot of details because remember it's a cat sculpture, not an actual cat. Um, we're trying to create that Egyptian cat, cat sculpture. Now, the Egyptians are known for adding a lot of jewelry to their cat drawings and sculptures and paintings. So we're gonna add some really cool jewelry to our cats as well. Um, you don't have to make yours exactly like I make mine. You can totally make yours different, um, but I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm gonna do and talk about it. And if you wanna do yours a little bit different, that is totally okay. All right, I'm gonna start by making kind of a necklace going across. And I wanna curve that to make it look like it's going around his neck. And then I'm going to do another thin line. That looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wider line. So I'm going to come down a lot lower and I'm going to do a wider line. 
And then I think I'm going to add another thin line here. Remember, yours doesn't have to be just like mine. It doesn't have to be just like mine. All right, inside of here, I'm going to start to add some patterns. So I might use some cool zigzag patterns. And I've left some examples on Canvas for you, some ideas of patterns that you can use on yours. Um, or you can come up with your own patterns. So I'm going to do some zigzags. And then I think I'm going to go with kind of a scale or almost like flower shape across here. Just to give it a little bit of a curve line. You know what? I like that so much. I'm going to do it again, but going the opposite direction. And then I'm going to add a little dot inside of there. And that looks pretty good. Now, again, yours doesn't have to look like mine. It can be totally different. I'm also going to add the eye. And the eye is going to be um, kind of a cat eye shape. If you've ever seen a cat eye, it's going to be kind of curved just like a human eye like this, like a football shape. And then it has this extra kind of wing going up like that. And then I'm gonna do the other half. It's gonna come up and connect. And I'll add the eyeball inside, just like that. And then that is it for the drawing part of our assignment. So you're gonna go ahead and finish up yours and then we will meet back here for the coloring part of the assignment. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. I'll see you later, bye.